Fios is not cable. We're wired differently. After losing to the Red Sox last night, the Yankees record dropped to 44 and 45 on the season, marking the first time the Bombers have been below 500 after the All-Star break since September of 1995. And the Yankees looking to get back to 500 today with a win at the stadium. Bottom third, Red Sox up one, but not anymore. Brett Gardner going deep into the Yankees bullpen, his sixth of the year, and we're all tied at one. On to the sixth inning, Boston now up 2-1. Red Sox catcher Sandy Lee takes CC Sabathia deep to left. A three-run shot into the left field bleachers. CC allowing five runs in five and a third innings of work. Right now, the Yankees trail 5-1 in the seventh. As for the Mets, Yoana Cespedes missed the third straight game last night due to a strained right quadricep. He won't be in the starting lineup tonight against Philadelphia, and he is listed as day-to-day. -day. Manager Terry Collins says Yoana may be available to pinch hit this evening. And the man who replaced Cespedes has got the Mets on the scoreboard last night. Juan Lagares crushing this home run to center field, giving the Mets an early 1-0 advantage. Neil Walker added a three-run blast to left for his 16th home run of the year. The Mets held on for a 5-3 victory. If the postseason started today, the Amazons would be tied with Miami for the second National League wild card spot. Logan Barrett gets a start tonight in Philadelphia. Moving to Scotland for third-round action at the Open Championship. Phil Mickelson and Henrik Stenson both extending their leads over the rest of the pack. Mickelson entering the day with a one-stroke lead over Stenson, and he gets in trouble on the par 4 12th as his tee shot goes into the gallery. And after getting out of the rough, watch this masterful display. The lefty gives a little backspin, setting up for par to remain at 11 under. That would get close to the cut. Meanwhile, Sweden's Stenson just kept hanging around and this birdie putt on the 17th gives him the outright lead at 12 under and that's where he sits heading into the final round. Mickelson one back at 11 under par but the course wasn't as friendly to the rest of the field. Rory McIlroy taking out his frustration on his three wood the 2014 Open champion not pleased with this wild shot and look at what he does breaking it in two pieces slamming his club onto the turf. McIlroy would go on to par the hole at least and he finished the day with a two over 73 Rory tied for 18th overall and of course you can watch all the final round action tomorrow morning beginning wow. at 7 a.m. right That's here on NBC for New York so some people happy some sad Phil Mickelson well, looking pretty good well tempered there with Rory uh, yes you got all it right, Harry thank you very much we're back right after this Ram trucks are built to work to play tow and ha